In my opinion, a motorcycle tracker is an essential piece of kit. Not only does it give you half a chance of getting your bike back if it gets stolen and the peace of mind to check that it's still where you left it, but also devices like this Pegas Moto have some awesome ride recording features on top. Thankfully, they've just come on board as a channel sponsor, so today I'm going to show you what's in the box and the super simple installation process, as well as tell you about all the great features. So this is probably going to be the quickest, simplest install video I've ever made, but we'll start with a quick look inside the box. So you've got the GPS unit itself and then a power cable, and then underneath you've got a couple of stickers, some sticky pads for attaching the GPS unit and an install guide. You've also got your credentials on the inside of the box, so it's probably worth keeping hold of it or taking a snap that. So we'll start with popping off the saddle. Find your battery. Mine's just got this strap and little cage over the top so I'll just remove that. And then you just need to loosen these two screws on top so that you can slip the connectors for the power cable in. So obviously black to black and red to red. Tighten them back up and then just neatly run the cable through to where you want to locate the GPS unit. You shouldn't need to worry about draining your battery because the GPS unit itself actually has an auto wake up feature. So it's only on or running when it detects vibrations such as the bike being tampered with or when it's on the move. Now there's a decent little bit of flat plastic here just under the passenger seat. So give it a wipe to make sure it'll stick. One side of the Velcro on the GPS and just press it on there. Now you can hook it up. And then I'm just gonna gather this excess cable up, keep it bunched together with the zip tie. Now in the instructions, it says don't block it with carbon or metal. So hopefully this metal brace across the subframe there won't block the signal. But yeah, you probably don't want it behind any sort of panels on the side under the seat. Looks like the best spot to me. And then you just download the app from the app store. Now you just need to put the serial number and pin code in from the inside of the box. All that's left now is to go for a ride and it'll activate. Once you've done that, you'll get notifications if someone tampers with your bike and you'll be able to see its position. So as well as the obvious security benefits, there are also some really neat features that you can use for everyday riding. The Pegas Moto logs all of your rides so you can look back at GPS position, speed, lean angle and more. I really like how it color codes your route so that you can see where you're accelerating and where you're on the brakes. All of your rides are stored in a diary and it even allows you to share them to social media or export them as GPX files so that your friends can follow the same routes on their own navigation devices. It even works on the track and is compatible with any circuit as it simply uses the GPS signal. Another cool feature is the maintenance diary where you can add your bike's details along with the tires, oil, chain and brake pads so that you can keep an eye on the mileage and age. Honestly for me though, the best thing about Pegas Moto is the fact that it's subscription free. With a lot of the other trackers on the market, you either have to pay a monthly fee to keep it active or you have to sort out your own SIM card and sort out a monthly contract or pay as you go. Now the thing is with security devices, convenience is absolutely key. If you're paying a monthly fee and you're not using your bike for a couple of months, if you're always having to make sure it's topped up, these little inconveniences can stop you from using them. And obviously, if you're not using it, there's absolutely no point in having it. With Pegas Moto, you just connect it to your battery, hook it up to the app, and you'll always know where your bike is. So a huge thanks to Pegas for coming on board. There are links to their product page in the description of this video. I'll be leaving it permanently fitted to my Tiger 800, so I'll keep you up to date with how it's going. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below, and I'll try and get back to you or answer them in a future video. And if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, then please do hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.